Republican leader, advocate for individual privacy rights, and fiscal restraint champion are just a few terms you would use to describe Representative Mary Liz Holberg. After serving her Lakeville district for 16 years, the 2014 legislative session will be her last. The former chair of the House Ways and Means Committee says it's time to move on. Although she says it was a hard decision to make, she says it's the right one. As you reflect on your years in the House, what do you see as your greatest legislative achievement? For me, one that probably has the most impact uh, would be the being the chief author of the Women's Right to Know Act, the bill that required that information be offered to women about fetal development and um, pregnancy support services prior to having an abortion. And following implementation of that law, the rate of abortion uh, dropped about 14% uh, the following year, and in my mind, that saved lives. I also am proud of the work that I have done in the data practices and privacy area. Uh, it's an important thing, and it's kind of geeky, and I know it frustrates people, and it's uh, very frustrating that more of my colleagues don't get involved in the issue. And for years, uh, I, I made the comment that it would take a major data breach in order for uh, members of the public and other legislators to sit up and take notice of the importance of this issue. And while it's unfortunate, we've had the DNR employee data breach, we had the IRS, uh, the NSA, the Target. I mean, in the last, if you look what's happened in the last two years around this area, uh, there has been much greater awareness by the public and consequently attention by legislators to this really important issue area. So I think um, maybe that prediction is uh, starting to come true and that there's uh, more interest in it. And so that's, uh, for me, I'm thrilled <laughs> about that because I always thought it was an important issue. Obviously you're still passionate about data practices and do you plan on doing anything with that in your retirement? I don't know yet. I had to get to first things first and the, the decision to retire. I felt it was important to make that decision prior to the endorsing convention in my district. I grew up in a family where the number one rule was is that you could not complain about anything unless you were willing to uh, propose and work to implement a solution or a change. And that has really stuck with me. Uh, look, you know, where I ended up, I guess. And so I don't see that changing. I'm looking forward to having more time to doing uh, volunteer opportunities in my local community. And what else I do beyond that, I'm not sure. What advice would you give to the next person who fills your seat? A key characteristic of an effective legislator is to have a good sense of uh, what they believe in and. Uh, a, a moral compass, if you will, of right and wrong, and uh, then also to spend as much time learning the issues. What are you going to miss most about the House of Representatives? The people. I think the public thinks that we come up here and fight like cats and dogs and don't get along, and the reality is is that the legislature is a pretty fair reflection of the state of Minnesota as a whole, and I. Uh, over the years have equated it to an aquarium and that you have all these different uh, beings, if you will, uh, surviving in this uh, uh, environment and you have all kinds. You have the bottom feeders or the eels that only stick their head out, you know, occasionally. Those that only travel in schools, um, you know, the real pretty things that don't do much. Um, you know, you can, you can equate a bunch of personalities or characteristics to the wide range of people that uh, are legislators and work here and that everybody has to kind of kind of find their place but I have uh, great friends on uh, both sides of the aisle and I'm just in awe of the dedication and time and effort of the nonpartisan uh, staff and the support personnel that make this whole organization work I don't, I don't think the public has a enough awareness or appreciation of what it takes uh, behind the scenes to make this uh, operation work. And I'm really grateful to have experienced it and uh, got to work with all these great people.